All right, hope everyone's doing well today or this evening. So really not a lot that has happened these past uh, a few weeks, or really a few days, excuse me. Monthly chart, really important in my opinion. We are right at the open of the month. And as you heard I was saying earlier today, targets. Open of the month, high of this month, close of the month, and moving average. They're all very close to each other. Daily chart. We have had strong rally. We finally broke above the February 1st high. However, you know, we did not get this, which was no surprise. You know, we have a sell-off and sideways, so we're probably in the trading range. You know, we knew that from when we went down here. So what usually happens, this is resistant. We'll probably test down. This is a lot up for the bulls, a lot of ground that the bulls covered. Look at all these gaps. This doesn't happen very often, and I think we will get more up. In other words, from here over, the bulls either see a trading range or a bull channel. The case for the bears and the bear channel is ended. However, do we go all the way down here and then turn up? No one knows. One logical guess would be some sort of 50%. A 50% pullback, which would take you somewhere into that area, no surprise. We may test all the way down to here, even no one knows. So, with that said, 60 minute chart. Actually, one or 20 minute chart. So you can see 14 consecutive bull bars up. Finally pulled back. And well, when you have a micro channel, the first break below the micro channel usually fails, as it did here. It turns up. However, once you get resumption of the trend after the micro channel, usually you go sideways. So I believe that's what we're doing now. We're starting to go sideways. 60 minute chart. Really the same thing. You know, if you incredible these dojis, it's you know, kind of fascinating. The bars are extremely small, the tails, extremely small bodies and tails. Finally we broke to the downside and we're starting to go sideways. So and what happens? Do we get this? It's possible. If you look at the bars, bear bar closing months low, bigger body, even bigger body, but you know, who knows? I think we'll get a little more down. However, we're at the 60 minute moving average. Maybe we get out, get down to here. Really all just depends on what the price action looks like, what it'll look like as it starts to go down. Weekly chart. Same thing. Broke above the February high. You know, bad signal bar, okay entry bar, but could not close on the tie. And it looks like we're trying to get a bear bar closing on its low. But what do I expect? I expect something disappointing. I also expect that any trader who sold this high sold higher will make money so in other words I think we will get back to this high at some point soon why that's because we're trading that's because trading ranges do that trading ranges are and you have stop entries and eventually if you don't take your profit price comes back to your entry all right so day session which kind of Obviously, strong channeling up, pulled back rather deep, and formed a trading range, broke to the upside and channeling down. Chaining argument in a bear channel. Yep. Trading range that starting to form a bear channel. So if we're looking at the past couple days, if we'll look at here on the 19th. Strong bar two, but look at bar one. Yep, so you have a bad signal bar. You have a bull, a bull doji, bear bar closing on its low, bad follow through, probably strong enough for at least a second leg down. So, 
any trader who's buying above here, you may easily fall below and turn up. So, you know, really, I think I I really think a bull who bought above here is going to be disappointed by this and even this body, this tail on this body, that they're really going to look scalp out second. This is due to bulls who bought here on this bar. Excuse me. They bought this low and scaled in lower, either above here or on this close, and got out of break even. So why? Because that's what trading ranges do. Trading ranges, they break out and they fail. Bulls buy the slow, scaling, buy more and lower. So for stop entry, the first reasonable stop entry of the day was here. However, so, but the bar could not close on its high. Weak entry bar. It's a bull bar, but still weak. And you get a strong breakout bar. But compare this breakout, just the size of the body, to this right here. So compare it to these bars right here. Strong bear breakout. Here, we have, a, we have a good breakout, but let's see what the follow-through looks like. If the follow-through is weak or if it's a bear bar, it'll probably be a bull leg in the trading range. I still think we'll get a measure move up of this bar, which we did, and we even got a measure move up the, the follow-through close. However, that's a warning that we're in the trading range. You know, take away this bar and this bar, and what do you get? All the other bars are trading range bars. Where, is, where are the strong consecutive bars? We're not getting that. So, strong breakout, we close. You know, this is really similar to here. You know, look right here at bar two. We have a doji, a one point bull body, and a six or five tick tail on top. Strong breakout, closing with high. However, good follow through, but why isn't the bar, why isn't the follow through body as big as this bar? Next, look here. Look at this close. Why do we have four bars in a row? So it's trading range. Breakout, reversal. Bulls are going to give up here. Reason, reason simple. The bulls, it, well, a couple reasons. You're far above the moving average. So that limits the upside potential. The bulls are really going to be nervous about swinging unless there's a really strong breakout. Second, this is the January high that I was talking about on the higher time frames and we're probably going to fail so as you can see we broke above it failed broke above it we're failing for the bears good signal bar it's a little too big they got bad follow through so we're probably going to we're probably developing a trading range you know take away bar two and what do you get you get seven bars sideways take away this bar sideways you know Pressure, the market will show you, kind of hint at what it's doing based upon the pressure, the bodies. You know, look right here. Weak signal bar, tail on top, you know, good body, but there's still a tail. Weak body, strong breakout, but it's, the, it's breaking out above the range. So let's see what kind of follow through we get. We got bad follow through here. We'll probably get bad follow through here. And as you can see, disappointed bulls got out here and we started to turn down. There's a day, I want to find it real quick. Here it is. Look right here. Big gap up. Doji, bar one. Bar two, another doji. Bar three, good bear bar, good body, but it's an outside down bar. It's still a doji. So we've had four doges, well five if you want to, actually six, depending on how you look at this. However, we've got four bull bars and two bear bars. So at some point during this, you'll say, yeah, the market's always in long. And well, so maybe you say, okay, here, because we're, you know, the reason I say here might be the spike is because you get a bull body, higher close, higher close, higher close, higher close, higher close, and then a, a very small bull body. So that might be a sign that 
that it's going to move. And then we got to climb back far. So this is important. It's important because it's about nine consecutive bull bodies. So it makes me think that yes, we will go for a measured move. However, look at the bodies of the bars. It's not, it's, it's good in terms of time, but it's not all that impressive. Impressive. You know, the bulls, bulls were selling, bulls and bears were selling each close. At least for, you know, in other words, if you look at a one minute chart, you know, you have to ask why they're tails. Tails are selling. It's fail breakout. So, although it's strong, I would not go against the trend. And it does show, you know, it significantly increases the odds that the best of the bulls, excuse me, the best of the bears will get a sideways. We may just go sideways. So, if you look, excuse me. All right, sorry about that. So, yeah, the issue, here's where I'm getting at. If this, and by the way, this green line is the opening of the month. If this was stronger in terms of the body being bigger, you know, bars like this, big, big bodies, small tails. If they were stronger, I think this move had gone up quicker. So that's kind of why this move was, there's a lot of sideways. Them. It's very disappointing. You know, you go sideways for 20 bars, you drift up sideways for 10 bars. Turn down, up, down. So yeah, here, you know, great bar one, but it's a little too big. Follow through bar two, but look to the left. Here, here's the breakout below these two lows. Disappointing. So we may get a deep pullback. This is still a trading range. You know, if you ever want to see what's going to happen, what's going to happen to the right, look to the left. We go sideways for what, 10, 12, 13 bars? Maybe not even that many. But just look at this. You know, you go up, down, up, down. You go up for a bar, down for a bar. If you're trading on stops, it's a sure way. So it's a sure way to lose money. This was a 67% pullback of this. You know, look at the pressure. You know, where are the consecutive strong bear bars when we get the breakout? You get a Three bars, but tails on each big tail, breakout, full bar, good breakout, you know, good body compared to the tail. And then you get big tail on top and bottom, small body compared to the tails. You know, if this bar would have closed on its low, I think it would have been a completely different story for the bears, but it did not. So really, even though it's three bars down, it looks like a trading range. So guess what? It's probably a trading range. You know. So you have to think, the bulls down here, what are they doing? Well, they're looking to buy. And they may do something like this and say, okay, well, obvious target, a measured move based upon the two bodies, we came close. So what are they going to do with this slope? They're going to buy. What are they going to do below here? They're going to buy. What are they going to do in this close? They're going to buy. So swing traders who did not take profits, they're going to exit here. Reason why, they think it's a trading range. We may have an upper range, may have a bottom range. We will probably fill the thin area. Thin area is the middle. So we'll probably form one large trading range as we did here. Well, trading ranges. Always forcing traders to sell near the bottom when it's clear and buy near the top, which is too low and too high. Here, probably always in long, but look what happens. Strong bear breakout, strong bull breakout. So you have to be thinking we may get a measured move of this bear flag up to the open of the day. Well. Strong bull breakout, but where's the follow through? We didn't get it. Three bars down, probably at least strong enough for second leg, and we may have a measuring gap. So best not to sell in here. Wait for this and then look to sell. And as you can see, look what happened. Bulls bought this close, disappointed, tried to get out of break even, tried to get out of break even. Here, got out of break even. Bulls, you know, same thing. This bar went up to this high because you had bulls who bought above here. Maybe they held, maybe they bought more up here. So there's always hints on a trading range. You know, trading range, the bars look ugly, the tails are big, and that's a sign. Don't buy too high and do not sell too low. It's a sure way to lose money. And it's not, an, it's even if you can scale in, it's not efficient. So, you know, look here. 
look to sell. Three bars down, probably you know, getting low in the range, so it's probably best to look to sell a pullback at least for a scalp. But look what happened. You have sell you have a sell to close bar, reasonable to sell this close because you might be betting on a bear trend, but really I would not because you're already you're you're selling a new low and it's probably a trading range day. But bears were able to get out of break even. So but look at the bars. Bear body, big tail, bear body, bear bear body, smaller bar, smaller bar, bigger tail. And then look, three bars up. So a trader who sells late and they see three bars up, they go, how can that be? It's un this is so unfair. Well, it's really not. It's a trading range. You want to buy low, sell high, and scalp. Once price starts to get low, you know, why are there bull bars? Bull bar, bull bar. Here, a bull bar. Here, a bull bar. Well, a couple reasons. The bulls know there's only a brief window when it will be low enough to buy. They never, it's never quite low enough. You know, they'll nibble, they'll buy some. And they'll buy more lower. Why? Just in case it doesn't go quite low enough. See, here at the low of the day, it only stayed there for yet a very small window to actually get long. But there's no rush. If you get long here, you may get a measure move up. May test all the way to the top. Yet buy the close bulls, buy the close bulls. And guess what? They tried to get out here. So, you know, real quick, what do you notice about this high, this high, this high, and this high? Well, what I notice is tails on top, it's a channel. High, we have a low, lower high, lower low, lower high, probably lower low. Anyways, I, I've got to wrap this up because that's somewhere I need to be. Open it today, tails, bear breakout, weak, you know, weak reversal, prominent tails on top, probably second leg down, probably going to measure move. We got one here, bodies, same thing, looks like a trading range. Big bear breakout, small tail, small tail, small tail, bear breakout. And we test it back up to here. Probably forming a trading range at this point. No one knows if this is the range or if this is the top or if this is the top. Good body, weak follow through compared to the breakout. It is it is follow through, so that's good. However, it's a 20 average, it's 20 moving average gap bars. So, you know, probably it's not a good place to buy. If you're buying, you're better off buying a pullback. You may pull back all the way down to here or may even make a new low of the day. Here though, bare body, good, bare body, good. Doji, bad, bare body, doji, bare body, doji, bull body. Looks like a leg in a trading range. Here, buy the closed bulls. Bulls will scale in here and look to get out of break even. You can see they did that on here. Or this is what I'm talking about. So look through today. Bad follow through, bad follow through down, bad follow through up, bad follow through down. However, the one prominent thing, as I just said a minute ago, channel. We have a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower highs, lower lows. So what do I expect in the next couple of days? Well, I expect more of trading range price action. This is when you have a bull trend, a bear trend. When you get a big breakout and big follow through, that's when you sell and go for a measured move and walk away. We didn't get that though in the past couple of days. All right, uh, this is all the time I have. Hope everyone has, hope everyone has a great day and a great trading week.